Hello everybody and welcome back to Ant Holifer. Today we are taking a look at a new ant store called PJW Ants and I may be the first in the entire world to make a video on these products except for PJW Ants, the store themselves. Also I know at least Ants Britannia have these products but anyways this is a new store and here's my unboxing of these new products. So this is the small package I'm gonna be unboxing. Now I did have my name on the other side, so therefore I'll just get straight into it. And I have also helped myself with opening it just a little bit. So inside the box, I have a few different things. And that is everything. So just before we go into the next part of the unboxing, I found this really cute that we have that little tape around so these two won't fall apart of each other. This is a little pipette together with a plastic test tube. Then in here we have all the different connectors that you can connect with the nest. So these are all the connecting points. This right here, I'm not quite sure if it's only for tubes, but it certainly works well with test tubes. Now I'm imagining that you can also use this to enter the... I just break it? So I actually just uh, broke the test tube a little bit, um, but uh, anyway I'm gonna just show what this is. So this is a test tube connector, but you can also use it to a tube connector. Uh, and it simply works with all sizes because you just put it on and this is getting smaller and smaller or bigger and bigger and therefore anything can pretty much connect to it and sit a little bit snug. Now if you push it too hard in, um, if you have a plastic tube, it may break. So be a little bit careful with this, but it actually works really well. And then we also have these connectors right here, which I'm imagining works for the nest. And then you can further on connect another nest, I think. So I've now just removed the tape. And you can see if I popped it off, that actually we have a little bit more of the protection. There we go. So this is the nest itself. So you do have this sponge on the top where you can use the bit to go in and, uh, well, fill it with water. You have three different holes to even out the water a little bit or the humidity. So, example, if you keep watering the right side, it will slowly start to mold and therefore it's good to switch between the different places to humid the sponge. That will give the sponge a little bit more life. But as you can see, we do have three different entries and all of these entries can be blocked by these small pluggers. So if you take the pluggers, you have now blocked all the three sides of the nest. Now if you take off these blockers and input these tube connectors, you can now connect a tube or a test tube or whatever you want to connect. The really nice thing is that, as I said before, you can connect different sizes to this because, well, it has this cone shape, meaning that you can connect different things, which is a really nice thing. So I am going to contact the hand store regarding what this is perfectly for, because it seems like it's a connector to a new nest, but it may just be me who's uh, misunderstood something, so I will clarify that in the voiceover. And with that all out, and with all of that being said, I think we should start the voiceover, and this is actually a really snug fit, which is good. But before we start the voiceover, you can also see that this is magnets, so I'm guessing that uh, these are very easy to remove, if you can, if you know the tactic at least. You can see right here, these magnets are actually really strong, but they can be removed like this. I don't know if that's the best tactic, but damn, they're actually really strong, they just fly straight back. <laughs> uh, so they're good strong magnets that keeps the pexiglass in place. And yeah, Holofers, this is the entire kit 
and everything I just unboxed. And to be honest, I think it is a really impressive starter nest. I mean, this is the first products that the Ant Store have sent out to the world. And I think it's a really nice start. I'll now go in a little bit more into details with the connectors and the nest itself. There are some small 3D printing errors that I will talk a little bit about later. But I think this is a really nice nest for somebody who's willing to try something new. And the good thing about these really small shops are that you can message them and help them improve the nest however you like it. So if you have any things you want to change, they may do it. So here's a little bit of a close up of the nest and the lid. And as you can see, there is actually a lot of chambers in this nest. Now, I am a big fan of a lot of chambers. I don't know why, but I'm just really into having all of these chambers. Personally, I might like the natural look a little bit more, but this straight nest is also looking really nice. And I must say, I think it's really nice that you have this long humidity chamber where the ants can lay straight up against the humidity. And then there's these smaller rooms where they can have the seeds if they are a harvester and species. But also just to give the pupae someplace dry. And I am a big fan of small chambers, though I must say this nest is actually really big compared to other nests. So I would definitely classify this as a medium nest and not a small or a founding nest because there is quite a lot of room inside. And talking a little bit about the lid, you can see it fits snug perfectly on top of the nest and it is actually in level with the outside of the nest and it is these really small details that I just love. Now as you can see the magnets are actually quite tall and therefore the whole nest have had to become a few millimeters taller for the lid to fit on. And that also means when you're popping the lid on, it just pops on top of the magnets and not the nest itself. But this may also be a good thing because if you drop the lid a little bit, instead of it hitting the glass, it may hit the magnets and may disturb the force a little bit around the nest. But in general, I think it's a really nice starter nest. Now going into a little bit of the smaller mistakes now, these are not mistakes in general, but it is just 3D printing errors and that is something you work with the more nest you make so it will definitely be better in the future but as you can see on the sides of the nest we do have these small 3d printing errors and these are things that you just slowly learn how to well not make but also in the entrance you can see this in the entrance hole is not all round and some of the connectors fit really nicely into this and some of the connectors are a little bit loose so again there are a few things that can be improved but i must say it's a really nice starter nest for this company but here we do have the three different connector types and on the left side we have this bloggers and these bloggers fit snugly perfect into the nest and on the right side we have these cones and these cones are actually really nice because you can fit different size tubing and you can also fit test tubes as long as you don't push them too hard in and lastly the middle connector is what I said in the unboxing for connecting up a new nest of the same kind of system. This may also be an outworld, but I think these three connectors are a really nice thing to the nest. It kind of makes the whole nest stands a little bit more out and makes it a little bit more unique compared to a normal 3D nest. And to be honest, I am a really big fan of the cone connector. I just think it's something that I personally haven't seen before. I am sure that is out there in other stores, but I haven't really seen much of it. And personally, I think it is a really nice thinking and you can connect multiple different tubes without having to worry about getting it bigger and smaller. And like I said, I am actually quite impressed by the quality of this whole nest, especially because it is such a new ant store. And once again, here we have the whole package. And if you are somebody who's willing to try some new nest, this is the perfect nest for you. And again, if you have any feedback, be sure to give it to the owner. Now, I'm not completely sure what this is on the right side, but here you can see how the nest is connected to an outworld, I believe it is. Of course, this is still in making, but it is really nice to seeing these small stores. They are keep improving their products because, well, they don't have to ship out products all day long, so they can focus more on making better products, which I love, of course. And yeah, this has been a look around the PJW Ants nest. And like I've said a few times, if you are a person who likes to try new stuff, I think this is a good nest to try because it is a little bit unique and stands out a little to other nest types. 
And yeah, Holofers, that has been it for this video. I really like these products and especially these connectors, especially this cone connector. I am a really big fan of, well, just how it works. And I, I don't know, I'm just a really big fan of it. Sadly, while I unboxed it, one of them did break, but I reached out to PJW Ants and well, they were kind enough to just send me a new one. And that is kind of where I am today. Also, my biggest problem with this current setup is definitely how some of the connectors fit perfectly in, which is perfect. But some of the connectors are kind of getting in and out just by looking at them almost. So that is definitely the biggest problem. But from my side, if your biggest problem is that the connectors are getting in and out and are a little bit loose, I think you have done a pretty good job for a first product at least. But yeah, Holofers, there is links in the description to PJW Ants, and if you want to get some um, products from them, go down and get them from the links down below. But else, Holofers, that has been it for this video, so don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see all of you in another video. Bye!